Hey guys, Chris and I are going to install the ring today. <laughs> Not Lord of the Rings. Or, he's already put a ring on it. <laughs> ring alarm system. Big feature for us is the freeze and the water sensors along with the cameras because of our baby girl Callie. We're going to walk you through our install, how we're going to be using some of the cool accessories that Ring has available. We bought our ring kit from Costco. We got the 10 piece one and then we ordered some accessories online. The main body of it is gonna go in the back where our internet is and I will show you how we mount that back there because we wanna be able to have this on our battery backup so that we never have to worry about losing power. The panel is gonna go right next to the front door. We've got batteries for everything as a backup. We're gonna do a ring doorbell on the front door so we can see what, who's outside or what's outside. We got three cameras that we're gonna install on the inside. Contact sensors for the doors and the windows. Don't need the range extender, came with it. Probably won't need a motion detector because Cali will cause it to go off. And then we've got a couple packs of flood freeze sensors that we're gonna stick under our sinks and in our Nautilus wet bay. And then we also have a smoke and CO2 notification alarm which we'll set right next to one of our smoke alarms and that'll set the alarm off. The main hub for the ring is gonna get mounted on the wall right here because this is kind of our IT cabinet. It's right next to our Pepwave router and our battery backup. So this is our IT cabinet. We've got a surge protector battery backup. We've got our Pepwave and we've got our ring alarm now. The setup process was really easy. The app walks you through everything. So be prepared to spend a little extra time because there's going to be software updates, which we didn't anticipate for. And if you're using uh, wireless internet, you know, AT&T or T-Mobile, and you're in a park with some bad reception, just know it's going to add hours to your time while the firmware updates. We learned a couple things that I want to make sure I point out. If you have a Alliance Valor, uh, make sure you have smoke detectors. Um, we came in the back and we found out in a garage we don't have one. We already had a sensor ready from Ring, so we put that up, and I'm going to go buy a smoke detector. We put a motion sensor in the garage because, you know, got to keep Mama's Harley safe, which is, you know, the electric bike. As promised, we got our smoke detector. I'm getting ready to install that right next to the sensor for the Ring. We also put the camera in the garage, so we have the motion detector, the camera. The nice thing about it, wireless sensors on all the doors and windows, and as we showed in the beginning, we put everything up there in our IT panel, so that turned out real well. We upgraded to the ring camera, so now we have this ring camera instead of the wise camera, so we can snoop on Callie while we're out playing and she's in here pouting. and another sensor on the door. Having the water sensors for me was an absolute must. We've had two pretty big water leaks, one that did pretty heavy damage to our cabinet due to a leak behind our water heater. The other one was in our wet bay. Luckily that one didn't cause much damage. If we would have had these sensors in place, we would have been able to catch them quite a bit quicker and maybe stemmed off some of the damage that we ended up having. One of the most important places to put this is going to be behind our Nautilus system. So I'm going to put it on the ground behind the spaghetti mess that's back here. And to hold that in place, I've got a little bit of a double-sided tape that's going to hold it on the bottom, but not enough to elevate it. So if there's any water coming out of the back, that sensor will let us know. We put the three water slash free sensors, two under the bathrooms, one under the kitchen sink, and then a fourth one down in the wet bay. I think I'm going to add a couple more just because there's some areas that I want to have extra support in the future. The other things that we did in here that I really like is up the hallway. So 
So this is our lone smoke detector for our trailer, which we learned today. Shame on us for not knowing we only had one. But we did put the carbon monoxide and smoke detector sensor right next to it as required by ring. We decided to put a ring camera in here because Callie always sleeps on the bed while we're out. So it's a unfortunate when we can't see what's going on with her. So we stuck one up here. No, it's not for what you think it is. Otherwise, we'd have more subscribers. There is a master plan behind my harebrain ideas. A while back, we did a video moving the uh, solar so that it controlled this air conditioner. In addition to controlling this air conditioner, we put in a wireless thermostat that we can control externally. It's a great peace of mind to have these security measures in place, especially for our home and for Cali when we're not here. Being able to remotely monitor your trailer, be able to check your water situation, your thermostats, know whether or not you're having a fire alarm, and you can also watch the videos. Overall, it gave us a real peace of mind for Cali and for us if we're away from the trailer, which when we're at rallies or sporting events, we can be away for long periods of time. Or Disney, because that happens. <laughs> yeah, there might be some evidence of some mouse time there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe and leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time.